you guys, so we're all packed up. Whit and I are about to head off uh, to Weatherford. We're going to pick up an all-season speeder, 600-pound all-season speeder out of Weatherford. And then we're going to head up to the lake where I'm going to drop him off. It's, it's going to be way too hot today to leave him out on the property uh, without any AC. So we'll drop him off the lake, pick up a few things, and then I'm headed out to the Oklahoma property to hopefully kill my first hog of the year and kill my first hog on this property all together. So I'll turn you back on as we start getting closer.
decided to park the car at the barn and walk in. Not even 20 yards, baby. Not even 20 yards in. I just started hearing a lot of hogs. So I walked a little bit closer. I got within 70 yards of a bunch of them. But, uh, never really had a good shot. And then one came within five yards of me. Literally walked right in front of me. And I, I shot her. So I'm gonna walk in, keep walking into the blind and see what else I can find. So we're on our way home now. It ended up being a pretty successful weekend. I ended up shooting a hog on Saturday morning, sorry, Friday morning. Uh, and then Saturday we went out with my dad and brother and cleared some more trails and started prepping it for the hunting season. The puppy's a little bit tired here. But now we're headed home and hopefully I'll upload a video. I know I didn't get the actual shot on video. So I'm going to get some practice with editing and uploading uh, some hunting videos. So I'm going to go ahead and do it and uh, see how well I can, I can do that. Also, we tried the uh, fried backstrap, which turned out all right. Uh, it was a little, a little chewy, but honestly the flavor was good. It wasn't gamey. Even my uh, mom and sister-in-law did not think it was gamey at all, so uh, that's a plus. But uh, I hope you all enjoy this video and continue watching my future hunts. Thanks.